In Aurora, Colorado, a 14 year old boy, Jordell Richardson, uh, was shot by the Colorado police. Uh, and in other words, the Aurora police murdered. Bitch, you don't give a fuck. I was, man, bitch. I wish, I wish you could, I could leave you alone. I wish we could bring this kid back to life and just leave her in a room along with this kid, man. Press one, man. I wish we could bring this little fucking kid back to life, man, and lock her in a room with him. In Aurora, Colorado, a 14 year old boy, Jordell Richardson, uh, was shot by the Colorado police. Uh, and in other words, the Aurora police murdered a young boy, uh, 14 years old, there he is. Um, Jordell was shot in the stomach after he was followed on foot. This was a foot chase where officers thought that he had a handgun. Jordell is heard screaming after the shot is fired and is yelling actually, I'm sorry, I'm done, help me, take me to the hospital, I can't breathe, help. Now the reason we're not showing you the footage and we're showing you stills is again, this is a 14 year old boy. And so there are different restrictions on what we can show you. Uh, and again, far too often, underage black kids are being targeted. She couldn't even get that shit out right. <laughs> she, she can't even, the, 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 she must have went to church today, man. <laughs> she can't even lie. Uh, and again, far too often, underage Black kids are being targeted by the police. Now, what happened? I want to give you a little bit. Far too often, underage black kids are being targeted by the police. <sighs> How do these people, man? I hate these people, man. I wish harm on these people, man. Again, far too often, underage Black kids are being targeted by the police. Now, what happened? I want to give you a little bit of of um, what we'll get into exactly what happened. Actually, why don't we just jump down um, to uh, the next graphic? Following the shooting, uh, the police say he was involved in an armed robbery at a convenience store where he fled. Yeah, police has made that up, man. <laughs> police say, you know, because that, that's not really what happened. It's just the police saying it. Man. Police just said that, man. <laughs> There's no victims on the other end of that. It's just the police saying it, man. Yeah, man. You know, that's that's how police do, man. They just be saying, hey man, hey 14-year-old, man, you um you robbed this business, man. <laughs> that's 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 policing, man. That's how policing works, man. They just go around and pin fake crimes, the rain, erroneous crimes on 14 year olds, you know? Actually, why don't we just jump down um, to uh, the next graphic. Following the shooting, uh, the police say he was involved in an armed robbery at a convenience store where he flashed a pellet gun at a clerk. He and a few other teens reportedly stole vape canisters from the store. During the time police chased and shot Jordell, officers didn't know he had committed a robbery. Police Chief Acevedo said the pellet gun the teen carried looked like an HK USP nine millimeter handgun. Okay, so that is why they were chasing him in the first place. Um, yeah, and if you would have put that pellet gun to your head, you would have fucking shit on yourself. You would have shit on yourself. You'd have been fucking duck walking and you'd been wobbling back to your fucking, <laughs> well, he'd have took your car. You been wobbling back to whoever the fuck to the fucking payphone or whoever the fuck and you took your cell phone too. Yeah, poop all up in your stuff. Ew. Okay, so that is why they were chasing him in the first place. Um, there was reports of a robbery. Uh, and so then let's go back to exactly what happened. So he's on the ground, he's been shot. He says, take me to the hospital, I can't breathe. You got Officer Cruz's uh, Cruz Azeca then calls for medical assistance and reports that shots were fired. While breathing hard, Jordell says, they made me do it. I didn't know who they were, they made me do it. While Snap handcuffs Jordell, that's another officer. Well, they have to handcuff you because you're still a risk to harm them. They always, I can't believe it's 20 fucking 23 and they don't know that. Even after they shoot you, they still handcuff you. Like you, you supposed to know that by now. This ain't supposed to be a story every time we do one of these stories. 
and they handcuffed them. By now, you know that's the protocol. They handcuff you because you're still a fucking danger to them. You were just running with a gun. They're going to give you first aid, but they have to handcuff you. Well, the teen is unresponsive. He's been shot. They handcuff him after he's been shot. The teen is unresponsive. One officer searches him, and a moment later, both decide to start CPR. The officer snap urges Jordell to stay awake, as if that helped or ever worked. And then an EMS arrives to transport Jordell, who later, yeah, died of his injuries at a hospital. So again, this is all because... He had a pellet gun and they thought he robbed a convenience store. He's there saying, they made me do it. Please stop. Take me to the hospital. Yeah, me do it. The, the key part of that phrase, you fucking, you fucking rabbit whore. Me do it. The key part is me do it. Had a pellet gun and they thought he robbed a convenience store. He's there saying, they made me do it. Please stop. Take me to the hospital. I'm done. I'm done. Um, Mondale, before we get into the response from the families, just wanted to kick it to you. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, when we continue to. <laughs> this fucking guy again. See police officers act in this manner where they shoot first. First of all, let's remember that it is legal to have a gun in Colorado, and it's and it's already obvious to us that they didn't know that this kid had a toy gun or a real gun. Not at 14, you fucking moron. Not at 14, you fucking moron. Um because that and not not at 14, you fucking moron. The information about them and the robbery was not uh, privy to the officers at the time of the uh, chase. What we do know, though, the officer's attitude told us exactly what their motives were. This officer said before they even saw the kids, they just saw suspicious acts from the kids, them being in hoodies and masks. And one of the officers said, I'm going to light his ass up. Yes. What are you implying when you say that? What are your intentions? This is even before you knew what that kid had in their arm. Also, you didn't know how old this kid was. So he could have been a law abiding citizen carrying a firearm because Colorado allows for people to carry firearms if you're 18. So killing this kid, murder. They never give white people, you know what I'm saying? When a white person make a mistake, they don't get all this benefit of the doubt. You a white person, man, and you fucking you don't hold the door open for a black person, man. You just you just going about your day. You go through the door, you don't even see the black person behind you, man. You in trouble with these folks, man. <laughs> yeah, they give a they give all types of fucking leeway to some people, man. These people are fucking racist, man. God damn, these some racist motherfuckers, man. God damn. How racist can you be, man? Murdering this kid is exactly what happened, and they continue to say it completely different. But I and I and that is the sad part about this. Yeah, absolutely. They said we're gonna light him up as they so there's conflicting reports, right? It's like, did they know that this was a robbery? It seems like some of them did, and then or as they were apprehending him, they found out there was a robbery, and that's when he said, I'm gonna light him up. Now, I want everyone to remember, he was not, he was not even running away from the police as- Bitch, you weren't there. Why is she acting like she was dead? Look at the length she's going through to fucking defend some little fucking goddamn teen gremlin and shit. I hate these people, man cowardly as that would have been to shoot at someone, right? He was already apprehended and he was shot in the stomach. Are we gonna see another, you know, I thought it was my taser excuse? Like, honestly, I, I, I don't know what the excuse is there. You've got him, he's a 14 year old kid. There's multiple officers, you have him. Now, 
Okay, a couple other, a little bit more context and then a, his, the response from his family. So two other 14 year olds were also taken into custody, uh, thankfully not murdered. Uh, and face false imprisonment and aggravated robbery charges. Police have identified other suspects who fled in a stolen Kia Sedona minivan, but have yet to apprehend them. Um, the response from um, Jordell's family, Jordell Richardson is his name. Um, attorneys for Jordell's family said that his family's quote traumatized by the shooting and the death of the boy they love. And they're left with more questions and answers after viewing the videos. Acevedo, who is the police chief, apparently told family members that Jordell didn't suffer before he died, which the family found insulting. During the news conference, Acevedo confirmed, yeah, that he told the family that. And Gruzazeka has been placed on administrative leave pending an ongoing investigation into the shooting of Jordell. Right, again, paid administrative leave uh, once again and wanna, say, wanna bet he feared for his life once there's a pellet gun. And Mon yeah, you, you, you fear for his life. The same way you feel for your life if that fucking same 14 year old looked at you hard. If he gave this bitch a cold stare, she'd be fucking mortified. Del, you said it, right? How do they know? You're chasing a kid. How do they know he is 18 or not, right? Like, the, if it's legal to carry a gun, as it is in Colorado, then what are we doing here, right? It's, is, are all your rights waived when there is some presumption or suspicion of a nonviolent criminal offense like Stealing vape canisters? I don't think so. <laughs> a nonviolent criminal fits like stealing vape canisters. <laughs> a nonviolent criminal fits. So I don't think you lose your life for that. But again, when you are black in this country, that is, I mean, it is a death sentence when dealing with the police. Whereas if you're white, and we covered on this show so many times, you're strung out on drugs. What was that a, a man in a suit the other the other day we covered? A guy in a suit strung out on fentanyl in his car uh, uh, or something of the sort. He's gingerly woken up, sort of, you know, almost like like making sure he's fine. Hey, that stuff is dangerous. No one's pulling a gun on him. No one's chasing him. Anyway, um, we will see. There's got to be more to this, but any last thoughts, Mondale? Yeah, I think uh, you know we, we we're obligated in this country to continue to play that we're naive and don't understand the problems with policing or acknowledge that policing in this country does not work. First, it does not lower crime. We spend more money on on police, uh, the institution of policing, than we do on getting people service or fed or housed in this country. And I think we see the repercussions. <laughs> of that every time a black person has an interaction with the biased cop. Yes. Every time a black person has an interaction with a biased cop, they get killed. Salute to Glacier Glider, greatness, man. Shout out to Ock and the Mods, Triple G here. Chat has me rolling. No one ever blames mom and dad, but blames the cop for the crap. Democrat logic. I don't Listen, I go even further, man. I blame the kid for the crime. Because I know that 99.999% of the chance they don't fucking die when they commit crimes. I blame the kid for the crime. Because 99.9999999999 times they don't die. This shit is so rare for one of these motherfuckers to die while they committing crimes. That robbery, that crew in um, Oakland we covered the other day that did the fucking, what, 30? It was 19, did 35 robberies. None of them died. Chicago every week, D.C. every week, some fucking teen, crew of teens is committing fucking 20 robberies in nine hours. None of those fucking kids ever died. Salute to um, Glacier Glider Greatness, man.